You're watching the Huawei P40 Pro disassembly. After the SIM tray is removed, heat will be applied to the back plate to loosen up the adhesive underneath and the plastic pry tool will be used to pry off the back plate. Now just to warn you, the adhesive on this phone is very strong so it's going to take you some time to pry it off. Here's a better look at the inside of the back plate. There are 18 Phillips screws which need to be removed. Now we can peel off the wireless charging pad. And then there's a catch over here holding the top cover down. Just put a pry tool in between. Pop it off. So here's your wireless charging pad. The contacts for the wireless charging pad are right here. And you have contacts over here for your flash and also one of your microphones, which is located right there. You also have some antenna lines running through this plastic piece. And if I'm not mistaken, this is gonna be your NFC antenna right here. And the contact for that's gonna be over here. Now it's time to disconnect the battery cable. And then we can go ahead and disconnect the rest of the cables. There's one wire cable right here. Pop that up. We're going to remove the 12 megapixel telephoto camera. Here's a better look at that. Now we can disconnect these cables. We have one more wire cable over here in the corner. Now I'm going to peel off the two films over here. It's time to disconnect the front facing cameras. We have one more cable right here. There's one Phillips screw over here holding down the main board. We can finally remove the main board. So here's a better look at the main board. You have one of those two layer boards on this one where you have one board that's sitting on top of the other board. And that's only for this portion of it. Here's the back side of the board. You have a microphone over here. You also have thermal paste on the back side. Removing the shield on the back reveals more thermal paste on top of the processor and some of the other chips. Now as far as the cameras go, you have your 40 megapixel ultra wide camera over here. The connector is right here. You have your 3D depth sensing camera over here. The connector for it is right here. Once you disconnect the cable for that, you can see the cable underneath, which is for your 50 megapixel ultra vision camera, which is the one right here. So once the main board is removed, you can see it lies on the mid frame with the thermal paste over here. So it transfers the heat to the mid frame and there's a 3D copper vapor chamber underneath, which is sandwiched in between the mid frame and the screen. So it transfers the heat to that. Here's a better look at that. You have one Phillips screw over here holding down your front facing cameras. Once that screw is removed, the cameras can be lifted up and removed as well. Here's a better look at the front facing cameras. It's time to remove the bottom cover. You have a wire cable over here you need to pop up and disconnect. You have three more flex cables you need to disconnect. There's one Phillips screw holding on your bottom board. Now we can lift up and remove that bottom board. So you have another microphone down here, which is going to be your main microphone. And on your back side, you have your SIM reader. Now we can remove the charger port.
Use a charger for a flex. You have a rubber gasket around your charger for it. It's time to pry off the speaker assembly. Here's a better look at your speaker assembly. This cable over here is a short flex cable, which connects to the flex cable right here that runs to your fingerprint reader underneath the battery and underneath the screen. Now again, good thing, this battery has pull tabs, which makes it much easier to remove the battery if you need to replace it. They're numbered one, two, and three, so you'd pull them off in that order. However, I'm gonna remove the battery the old fashioned way so I can leave those pull tabs intact in case the battery needs to be replaced later on. So I'm just gonna apply some heat to loosen up the adhesive underneath, and then I'm gonna pry it off. Here's a better look at your battery. So the battery is a 4200 milliamp hour battery, which is the same as the P40 Lite, except on the P40 Lite it's 3.82 volts compared to the 3.85 volts on this one. So here's your embedded fingerprint reader underneath the screen. You have this cable over here which connects the bottom board to the top main board. You have your vibrator motor over here on the bottom right hand corner. This flex cable over here is for the antenna over here on the side. You have your power and volume button flex cable over here. So this phone doesn't have a traditional speaker. Instead, this over here is what's gonna be your speaker, which provides sound by giving vibrations off on the screen. After removing the two Phillips screws over here, we can lift it up and remove it. And it has a very strong magnet. Here's a better look at that magnetic coil. So the magnets work together to provide the sound. You have a cable over here for your proximity sensors. And this flex cable over here is the one for your screen. It's run through a slit in the mid frame. So if you ever had to replace the screen, you would have to disassemble the phone, disconnect the cable from your main board, remove the battery, heat the front up to loosen up the adhesive underneath, pry the screen off, slide your flex cable through the slit over here in the mid frame, get your new screen, run your cable back through the slit in the mid frame, reapply it to the front of the phone and just reverse the whole process. All right, now it's time to put the phone back together. And once all your screws are back in place, apply some new adhesive and put your back plate back over. Flip it over. Power it on. And you're done. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.